In this video, let's try to recap what we have discussed in this section 3. At the very starting of this section, we enhanced our application right from hard coding one user in the application.properties into maintaining and adding multiple users through in-memory authentication and in-memory user details manager. Post that, we looked how user contract and schema maintained by Spring Security by understanding all the important interfaces and classes revolving around it. The very first interface that we have looked at user details, which is the contract or blueprint of uh, the user that Spring Security want us to maintain. And we also looked at a sample implementation provided by Spring Security framework itself, which is user. After that, we also looked at the interface user detail service, which is an interface where we can overwrite and implement the logic on how to fetch the user details either from database or LDAP server or any other place. And we also saw to handle scenarios like adding user, deleting, updating user and changing passwords, we have an interface called user details manager. Lastly, we also looked at three implementations of user details manager provided by Spring Security, which are in-memory user details manager, JDBC user details manager, and LDAP user details manager. So we went and looked into all these interfaces and classes, what is the code present inside the framework, and we went into deep understanding JDBC user details manager since this is the most famous and common way of handling the authentication in any of the application. After that, we tried to do some hands-on by creating a database in the AWS cloud for our application and integrating that database to our EasyBank application. Post that, we also created certain users and we also implemented our own user detail service and indicated our application to fetch the user details based upon the new tables and columns that we have created to perform the authentication and authorization. For your reference, I'm uploading the code that we have developed in this section to this video where you can download as a Maven project and you can import into your workspaces and you can see what I have done and you can treat it as a reference and I request you to do some hands-on based upon our discussion in this section 3. I have also providing the scripts that I have been executing on the database side for your reference, right from creating a database, creating tables and inserting records into the database. So please download, compare with what you have developed along with our discussion. And if you have any issues, you can always treat this as a reference for your uh, project that you have been developing parallelly with me. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in the Q&A section. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.